how a delegated admin can administer users in the customer portal. A delegated admin can add and remove users from an account to be able to view and update cases on that account. They can also assign users to entitlements, which will enable those users to be able to create new cases. There is also the ability to provide limited access. Let me now show you. Log on to the customer portal as a delegated admin. To work with users, either select the central tile marked users or users under the grey ribbon bar. I'm going to select the one on the grey ribbon bar. For any accounts I am a delegated admin, I can then select the appropriate accounts. Let me select one. The users or contacts can be created with two types of access, either full access or limited access. Contacts with full access can view and update all cases for the account. If they have been assigned specific entitlements, then they can also create cases for that entitlement against the account. Users or contacts with limited access can only view, create and update cases for which they have been specifically assigned entitlements. They cannot access any of the other cases for that account. Let's look at this in a bit more detail. Firstly, let's go to contacts with full access and add a new contact. Complete the details of first name, last name and email address. You can also optionally check this box if you wish them to also be a delegated admin. If you are a delegated admin for multiple accounts, you then have the option to associate this new contact or user with that account by checking the boxes here. You can also optionally choose for them to be a delegated admin. I'm going to create this new user as a standard user. This contact has now been created. Of important note, when a contact is newly created, it will not appear in the drop down list of those with full access until it has been assigned an entitlement. This new A1 test user should appear at the top, but it won't until I've been assigned the entitlement. Let's do that now. Put in the email address of the user contact that you just created and select search. Select the contact and the entitlements for that count will be listed for you. You can then select which entitlement you wish that particular user to be able to create cases for. Let me select a couple here and then save. These entitlements have now been linked successfully. If I now look at the full access contacts on my list, you will now see that user here. Now let's do similarly 
for contacts with limited access. For contacts with limited access, they must be associated with an account, but not this particular account. So they must exist in the system. So they will be a user and then you can give them access to specific entitlements for this account. They will not be able to see all the cases, but only the cases for this particular entitlement. Similarly, you come through to assign new entitlement and then provide the contact email address. Select search, select the contact name, and then you can provide the limited access you wish. This user will then be able to create, view and update cases for those entitlements. That entitlement has now been linked successfully. Here is that user. For contacts with full access, there are some other features which you can edit. If you select the edit box next to the user and select edit, you can decide to change their access level up to a delegated admin, as so. If you no longer wish the user to have access to this account, you can deactivate the user here. Changing their entitlements works in the same way for full access and limited access. You deselect and select as required and then save the changes. Users may request access to entitlements. You will receive email notifications when this is done. There is a separate video which covers entitlements. If a user has requested an entitlement, you can see what they have requested under entitlements and entitlement requests. As a delegated admin, you can see the progress of any requests that have been made for your accounts. Go through to entitlements, and then with entitlements, there are several list views available. My entitlement requests covers any requests you have made, but those have been made of your accounts will be under pending requests. Within pending requests, we have one outstanding entitlement request. You select the particular request and from there you can see information as to which user is requesting it and then you can choose to approve or reject that request. You can also see action requests. You can see, if you go through to the action requests, you can see when it was done and who it was approved by. For information on other parts of the customer portal, please refer to our other videos. Thank you.